Hey there, it's Stephanie Shea, Chief Astrologer for janspiller.com with your monthly horoscope. And this one's for you, Aquarius. Here we are going into April 2020. I've got your horoscope for you. I'm so glad to be presenting the horoscopes for all 12 sun signs now here on YouTube. So be sure to check back, become a subscriber. I'm also planning to put out some videos about some of the bigger picture astrology happening and how it relates to these pretty crazy times that we're in. For Aquarius especially, I think you'll be interested in a couple of videos that I did in a live webinar that have to do with the planet Saturn in your sun sign. So keep an eye out for those in the coming week or so. Now, as far as your April horoscope, let's see what is happening. We've got the sun shining in Aries through the 18th. This is gonna energize connections with friends and family. It actually is a great month to do some networking. I keep kind of reminding myself that we're not really socially distanced at all. We're socially getting closer. We're just physically distanced. And now that we're clear of Mercury retrograde, you're gonna have the cosmic green light to initiate some new communications, agreements, and ideas. This month's full moon on the 7th is going to be in Libra. This is going to highlight your thirst for knowledge. Be sure and learn something new. Take time to uh, maybe sign up for an online class or learn something from a friend. Uh, it's a great time to expand your mental horizons in this way. We've got a powerful conjunction between Jupiter and Pluto that's going to be exact on April the 4th. It started last month. These planets make a strong pairing, and they're going to help you to attract the opportunities that you desire. They've been at work in your subconscious mind this year. It might not be evident to others that you've been taking on some deep inner work. Don't worry about what other people think right now. Keep on your path of personal transformation because soon you're going to experience the benefits of adopting a more positive attitude, about being more open-minded, about trying new things. Spiritual pursuits are going to be favored and it's a great time to use your experience with a personal challenge to help others. So Mercury will be finishing its trip through the sign of Pisces on the 10th. It enters Aries on April 11th. This kind of gives another boost of energy to communications and Aquarians are so good at connecting others. The days between April 11th and 26th are particularly well suited for teaching, learning, communications, and networking. Now here's a heads up about the shadow of Venus retrograde coming up this month. It officially begins April 10th. We have a Venus retrograde cycle every 18 months on average, and it is a time to slow down and reflect. Now, the official Venus retrograde is May 13th to June 24th. Venus themes, unlike a Mercury retrograde, which is more about communications, how we learn things, our technology, when it's Venus retrograde, it's really matters of the heart and it has to do with our self-worth and our resources. So you can get a head start this month organizing money matters and making sure relationship questions either get some resolution or get put on hold before next month. Because Venus is going to be retrograde in the sign of Gemini, this forms a favorable trine to your sun. The lessons you receive during this transit may come in the form of gentle reminders. It's not a hard aspect, so you may actually feel some benefits of this Venus retrograde cycle where other people seem to be challenged by it. It won't be good timing for new commitments or big decisions with an existing partner. And if an ex does resurface in your life, as they sometimes do during Venus retrograde, um, you may remember what you enjoyed about them, but you also may realize why you didn't work as a couple. So keep that in mind. We've got Pluto stationing retrograde in Capricorn on April 25th. This initiates a cycle that will last until October the 4th. Now, during the time Pluto will be retrograde, you'll have a strong connection to your subconscious mind. Um, you can use this alone time that 
has kind of <laughs> been mandated for us in the coming months to tap into your inner wisdom and build the confidence and courage that you need to let go of unhealthy habits or relationships. So you can see contemplation, self-examination is all being supported in this astrology right now. This month's new moon on the 22nd is going to be in Taurus, supporting your intentions related to stability, security, your home life, real estate perhaps, improving family relationships. It's definitely seed planting time even if you can't take direct action right right now. It is the time to think about what you would like to do and to state those intentions at the new moon. So I hope you can make the most of April's astrology. Have a safe and good month and I will see you back here next month with your horoscope.